hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i am going to explain you about kvl kirchhoff voltage law in the subject of basic electrical engineering in this video i'll give you the theory related to kvl the sign conventions and an example uh, model which will be helpful for you to solve the problems okay but problems no problems i'll be explaining in the next videos because if i include problems it becomes lengthy right i'll try to include two two examples for each kvl and kcl okay let us get into the video kvl states that the algebraic sum of potential differences in a closed circuit is zero closed circuit you need to remember this okay in a closed circuit the potential differences the sum of potential differences should be equal to zero that is it obeys the law of conservation of energy it is also called as law of conservation of energy i have seen this in the intermediate book of um, you know i normally i say tuition to intermediate students so i have seen in their book law of conservation of energy so you, if you want to include you can include this point also kcl is called as law of conservation of charge okay let us discuss about that later and a closed circuit will have several elements right it can have batteries it can have resistors it, it has some elements like it can have a fuse it can have a switch whatever whatever the basic circuit elements are there it can have an inductor capacitor whatever it is so at each and every element there will be a voltage drop or voltage rise okay the potential difference will either drop or it will either rise two situations may happen so when do you understand that the potential difference has dropped or when do you understand that it has raised i'll tell you this is element 1 and element 2 it can be anything it can be a resistor and it can be a battery or it can be a resistor resistor battery battery any combo it can be if you are moving from positive charge to negative charge then it is considered as drop that is you need to take negative symbol if it is moving from negative to positive then it is considered as rise that you have to take a positive symbol okay uh, i know you guys are getting confused don't worry i'll explain you with a diagram so yeah in this uh, diagram just give me a second the papers are flying yeah in this this is not diagram actually it is a closed circuit is it open at any point of time no right there is no open switch or nothing is there for this it is a closed circuit okay in this what are the elements you have you need to identify that first e1 this is battery and this is also a battery element 1 element 2 element 3 4 5 we have total five elements here so in this example let us apply kvl and kvl you are applying in the direction of current current is going in this direction right kvl also has to be applied in this direction so that is why i have put arrow mark like this okay so let us see how to apply kvl here so kvl is what algebraic sum of the potential differences right algebraic sum of the potential differences in a closed loop should be equal to zero so let us see how it works now first let us start with r1 from r1 let us start so r1 at r1 what is the voltage what is the potential difference you don't know what is the potential difference at r1 but what do you know from ohm's law v is equal to ir right so it is not necessarily that every time you should know the potential difference if you know the current and resistance also you can find out okay so we are going in this direction right so like like this we are coming like this we are coming okay so from positive to negative it is going according to our direction like it is going like this so when we are coming like this from positive to negative it has come so ultimately the symbol will be negative okay taking the symbol is only a big task others will be easy for you so now what is the current here i let us take small i i r1 v is equal to ir right for this also same positive to negative it is coming so minus positive to negative so it is negative symbol okay why is it becoming blur always maybe because of my hand it is focusing on my hand i r2 next i r3 y minus again because again from plus to minus it is going right and what is the current i see in some cases you will have a junction here you will have a separation here you'll have two different loops in that case you need to calculate the equivalent current 
that is different scenario that i'll explain you in the next video with uh, some more complicated example but for this this will be enough uh, next what do you have the next element is e2 right so at e2 you are coming from positive to negative again when you are coming like this okay so when you are coming like this first positive then negative right so this will also be obviously negative sign because when you are going from positive to negative you need to take as negative only when you are going from negative to positive you have to take positive whatever is here in the last that symbol you have to take what is last minus minus e2 directly you can take because this is a potential difference at batteries near batteries you will have the potential difference okay next from there you are coming like this and you are going like this right so when you are going in this direction so like this when you are going in this direction negative first positive next right so from negative to positive you are going what do you mean by this plus plus symbol you have to take because last wo what is coming plus so e1 is equal to 0 because algebraic sum should be equal to 0 right so what you can do here what like minus r1 r2 r3 let us send it to that side so it becomes minus e2 plus e1 is equal to minus 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 when it comes to this side it becomes positive right mm. now you can take i common okay e1 my e minus e2 plus e1 can be written as e1 minus e2 is equal to got it so this is the law of conservation of energy that is the batteries will release some energy and that the same amount of energy is consumed by the resistors which is present in the circuit this is what it means okay the batteries has released some energy whatever the energy is released by the batteries the same energy will be consumed by the resistors which are present in the circuit okay this is about the kvl so in kvl the very 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 important thing is finding sign convention is important see sign convention is very important next finding equivalent resistance that is they are in series connection or they are in parallel connection that is e e important and finding the equivalent current because if if there is a loop if there are more than one loops then that is very important that i'll explain in the next video uh, with uh, i mean in the next video i'll take an example of kvl and i'll explain you so this is all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts related to kvl or any other subjects or if you are having any video like recommendations let me know in the comment section thanks for watching the video till the end let's meet up in the next coming video with another topic